Very few people have ever heard about one of the worst famines in human history, which would take place in Iran in the early 1900s. This understudied subject has mostly been neglected by journalists and historians, forgotten about or dismissed by the governments and politicians involved at the time, and would become known as the Persian Famine in 1917. A perfect storm of catastrophic events would claim the lives of up to 10 million people during World War I. The Qajar dynasty was the ruling body of Iran at the time, and even though they declared neutrality from the war, Iranians suffered some of the heaviest losses of life through a combination of brutal circumstances. They were under occupation by three different armies at the time, including the forces of the British, Russian, and Ottoman Empire. And while they were battling for supremacy during the war, the armies needed to feed their soldiers. Blockades were set up on all sides to monitor food and goods coming and going, and a lot of supplies wound up being seized or stolen, requisitioned, as the army would call it, from those fighting in the area at the time. This would destroy the infrastructure of the country of Iran, and after severe droughts would occur in 1916, the agricultural land of the area was heavily affected. The Russian and Turkish armies would leave the occupied areas by the spring of 1917, and by 1918, starving people would overrun granaries, bakeries, and food carts, desperate to find food. Panic set in, and looting would happen in major cities in Iran resulting in police clashing with the poor in Hungary, which caused casualties. The mortality rates in Hamadan, Mashhadsar, and Kerman was as high as 10%. When the inhabitants of Iran thought that things couldn't get worse, contagious diseases spread rapidly through the country. Cholera was rampant in 1916 after being introduced from the Russians in what is known by the name of the Spanish flu hit the area hard only two years after that in 1918. This broke out near the end of the First World War while Iran was already devastated. And it wasn't just cities, but rural areas that were also affected. It is said that over 20% of the total population was killed, although the numbers are difficult to determine based on the record keeping at the time. The contributing factors accounting for the death toll include drought, famine, cholera, influenza, war, typhoid, and typhus, and most likely, the British. An author named Mohammed Goli Majid, who is a PhD in agricultural economics from Cornell University and has studied the modern history of Iran extensively, claimed that the British Empire is responsible for the deaths of millions of Persians who perished. Majid writes that the British hold much of the responsibility because of their trade and financial policies at the time. He reports that they've rewritten history to trivialize their role in what he would describe as the murder of millions of innocent people due to greed, war profiteering, hoarding, and theft. There are more details available in several of Majid's books, including The Great Famine and Genocide in Iran from 1917 to 1919, or the Cambridge History of Iran, which was published in the United Kingdom by the Cambridge University Press. Regardless of the background information you read or who you believe, the truth can't be denied regarding the facts that millions of people have been lost through senseless violence and that Iran continues to struggle for peace and freedom as it has for thousands of years now.